Hello students, this is Swati Deshpande teacher. Today I will be taking few more important sums from 5th standard mathematics scholarship. Right? See students, there are so many different sums in the syllabus. So I felt it is necessary to share with you certain tricks, some certain important sums so that that might help you to uh, clear some of your concepts right students i have already uploaded six videos in case you have not seen them please see them and uh, this is my seventh video of maths i have already uploaded even for it important questions please please see them as the last minute revision okay let's start first sum will appear on your screen a car covers Nagpur Amravati 150 km distance in 3 hours and 15 minutes. How much time will it require to cover a distance of 250 km of Nagpur Akola with the same speed? See here, basically they have given uh, distance and time. 150 km it covers in 3 hours 15 minutes, right? First, I, I will suggest you to convert everything into minutes. 3 hours means 3 into 60 minutes. And these are 15 minutes only. Board mass 180 plus 15, 195 minutes. So, 3 hours 15 minutes means 195 minutes. Now, they are asking us for 250 km with the same speed. How much time will it require? Very, very easy. Let's rewrite it here. 150 kilometers. These are kilometers. These are minutes. 150 kilometer in 195 minutes. No need of writing minutes here. I have written on top. So, for 250 kilometer, how many minutes? Now, you all know cross multiplication. 250 into 195 upon 150. 1 0 gone, 5 3 are, 5 5 are, then uh, five, uh, 3 1 are, 3 6 are 18, then 3 5 are 15. So 5 and 65. So 5 5 are 25, 5 6 are 30 plus 2, 30, 3 25 minutes. We had converted these hours and minutes given by them into minutes for our convenience. So this is minutes so again we need to convert back into hours and minutes how to do that 325 divided by 60 65 are 300 you can take help of 6 table right 25 will remain these are hours these are minutes so our answer is 5 hours 25 minutes this is our answer isn't it interesting? Let's go ahead. Next sum will appear on your screen. The interest on certain principal for 5 years at a certain rate of interest is Rs. 6000. What is the interest on double that principal for 3 years at the same rate of interest? See students, in these kinds of sum, there will be a word double or half, 3 times, whatever it is. You have to keep track of that word. That word is very, very important. Okay. We will require it little later, but you cannot afford to ignore that word. You have to keep that word in mind before selecting a final answer. Okay. Here, what have they given us? Like earlier, we have kilometer and time. Here, they have given years and interest. 5 years may 6000 interest. So, now they are asking us for 3 years. Interest and time, they are always directly related. So, we have to just mention it like this, whatever they have given. 5 years ke liye 6000, 3 years ke liye kitna. Again, you know now, cross multiplication. 3 into 6000 upon 5. 5 ones are 5, 5 ones are 5. Then 1 bacha hai, so 1 0, 5 2s are 10 and these 2 zeros. 3 
into 1200 that is 3600 this answer will be there option will be there hundred percent please don't take that now as I told you earlier double that word is very important that is double means 3600 into 2 we have to do so answer is 7200 ok if you choose this ignoring this word double 2 marks gone even though you have done everything properly so please be careful double agar either half hota so we would have made half of this if this would have been 3 times we would have multiplied by 3 only that much ok so our answer is rupees 7200 isn't it easy Chalo, aage badte hai. after grinding 5 kg of wheat 4750 gram wheat flour is obtained if 20 kg of wheat is grounded how much wheat flour will be obtained 5 kg wheat ka hume flour kitna milta hai 4750 grams so let's do this also convert it, this in also in grams so 5000 may say 4750 itna hi hume flour mil raha hai matlab 250 is wastage right you can say you can call it as wastage so how much is the wastage 250 grams right this much is the wastage so I am rewriting it whenever 5 kg wheat is there then wastage is 250 grams so now they are taking 20 kg wheat then how much will be the wastage let's find out that way here it is into 4 compare 5 or 20 into 4 so obviously this also will be into 4 so 250 into 4 that is 1000 grams 1000 grams means how much 1 kg right so 1 kg will be wasted so how much is the wheat 20 kg how much is the wastage 1 kg how much flour will get 19 kg so 19 kg is the answer right so easy some students may ask me teacher what is the need of finding out wastage can't we go ahead with this yes we can we can 5 kg wheat 4750 grams flour so 20 kg wheat how much flour again this is into 4 so obviously this also into 4 so let's do it 4750 into 4 this was grams this also will be grams so 19,000 grams means how many kg 19 kg answer won't change students I always tell you there are multiple ways to solve sums as long as you are correct as far as concepts are concerned and your method is concerned you are going to get correct answer right ok chal aage badte which fraction shows the number a quarter to seven first you should know what is the meaning of quarter to seven quarter to seven is six three upon four remember or rather six point seventy five six and three quarter that is quarter to seven still a quarter is left to become seven it's not yet 7. How we say quarter to 7? Clock. Same way. Right? 6 and 3 quarter. 3 quarter is 0.75. So we need to convert this into mixed fraction. We should get this. We all know how to do this. Convert improper fraction into proper fraction. Student, in case you don't know, I suggest you see my fraction video. It is a very very exhaustive video. It's a very biggest video. So, in that everything about uh, fraction I have included, right? Okay, chalo. So, 23 upon 4 is 23 divided by 4. 4 fives are 20. 
क्यू आर अपॉन डी के फॉर्म में लिखना है क्यू इज फाइव आर इज थ्री अपॉन फोर सो दैट इज नॉट दिस सो नो फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज रॉन्ग सेकेंड वन सेम वे यू हैव टू डू लाइक दिस सिक्स वन अपॉन फोर सो नो दिस इज ऑल्सो रॉन्ग यू डिवाइड एंड सी स्टूडेंट यू हैव टू राइट क्वेश्चन हियर रिमाइंडर ऑन टॉप एंड डी डिवाइजर हियर एज अ डिनोमिनेटर लेट्स डू दिस ट्वेंटी सेवन डिवाइडेड बाय फोर फोर सिक्स जार ट्वेंटी फोर थ्री सो क्यू आर अपॉन डी क्यू इज सिक्स आर इज थ्री डिवाइजर इज फोर which is same as this so this is the correct option so our option is 27 upon 4 obviously no need of checking this but still we will do this 29 divided by 4 karenge 7 is 28 remainder is 1 so q r upon d q is 7 r is 1 and d is 4 many students will take this If you don't know what is the meaning of quarter two and quarter past, then there is a probability that this option will be taken as correct one, which is not the correct one. Correct one is third option, six three upon four. Very very interesting. Let's go ahead. The radius of each circle given in the figure is 8.5 cm. Find the perimeter of the rectangle LMNO. See students, I have drawn the figure on the board. You observe the circles which are drawn inside. They are identical and they are touching the sides of the rectangle. And what are they saying? The radius of this circle is 8.5 cm. राइट right? 8.5 सेंटीमीटर इसका भी और इसका भी दे आर सेम सो 8.5 नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड आउट फाइंड आउट देंथ एंड ब्रेड ऑब्जर्व इट इज पॉसिबल दिस इज रेडियस सो वॉट इज गोइंग टू बी दायमीटर एट पॉइंट फाइव एट पॉइंट फाइव सो डायमीटर will be radius into 2 right radius into 2 that is 8.5 into 2 8.5 plus 8.5 that is 17 cm so this much area is 17 so obviously this is also 17 this is 17 this is 17 so if we add 17 plus 17 we will get length length is 17 plus 17, 34 centimeter with the help of this diameter, right? Similarly, this breadth how can we get this radius and this radius? Two times radius. Please be careful. This was two into diameter length, but breadth will be. observe two times radius that is 17 cm 2 into radius please be careful here okay once we know the length and the breadth finding out perimeter is the easiest thing perimeter is equal to 2 times length plus 2 times breadth so 2 into 34 Plus two into eighteen, seventeen. Right? So board mass. Please be careful. This is sixty-eight plus thirty-four. So it is one zero two centimeter. This is our answer. Once we find out this, this is the important job. Once we get this, this anybody can do because we know the formula. this was based on the observation and common sense when the sides of the circle are touching the sides of the length and the breadth of the rectangle we have to find out the relationship of the radius with length and radius with breadth 
how many radius will make the bread how many radius will make the length like that okay so our answer is 102 cm how many times should 4 upon 9 be added to 2 upon 9 so that the sum is 2 i have shown similar sum before also write the way it is written in the sum start from the middle one 9 into 2 18 then you do minus 18 minus 2 16 then you do division 16 divided by 4 is 4 so 4 times is the answer within few seconds your answer is ready this is a shortcut students you can do it actually with the help of fractions i want to show you even that see 4 upon 9 how many times should be added to 2 upon 9 means 2 upon 9 is already there to that 4 upon 9 How many times should be added so that the answer is two? First, we'll shift this that side. So four upon nine into box will remain here. Basically, we need to find out this how many times, which we have found out within few seconds, right? So two minus two upon nine. This will become minus there. We need to find out make this denominator nine. So into nine into nine. So I'm doing it here. 4 upon 9 into box is equal to 2 into 9 18 minus 2 so 16 upon 9 then box will remain here alone 16 upon 9 is here this will become reciprocal 9 will go on top and 4 will come down do this 9 9 cancel 4 1 4 4 4 so 16 so box is equal to 4 times this only 4 is remaining right so 4 times is the answer see this is by mathematics the concept of fraction this is a simple trick and at the time of examination time is very very important so sometimes yes we have to make use of this tricks to save time right let's go ahead five books can be bought on selling four books for rupees 200 What is the profit or loss on selling one book? See, five books can be bought on selling four books. Selling price of four books is same as cost price of five books. That is equal to two hundred. They are saying, right? This you should understand properly. What have they given you? Five books can be bought means cost of five books is same as selling price of four books. Okay, so let's find out selling price of one book and cost price of one one book. How to find out? If selling price of four books is two hundred, so one book is two hundred upon four. That is rupees fifty. This is the SP selling price. Now cost price of one. How to find out? If cost price of five books is two hundred, what is the cost of one book? Two hundred upon five. So rupees forty. Cost price is less forty. Selling price is more. So obviously there is a profit. How much is the profit? How to find out? Profit is equal to SP minus CP. Whenever there is a profit, obviously SP is more than our cost, right? Cost means whatever goes out from our pocket. SP means whatever comes in our pocket. So if that is more, obviously we will earn profit. So SP is how much? Fifty. CP is forty. So how much is profit? Rupees ten. Ten rupees profit is our answer. Very very interesting. Students, important questions is such a thing. I can just go on and on. I feel like making more and more videos because there are so many important and good questions which I want to talk about, right? But in this video, we will stop here right now. Definitely, I will come with the next video very very soon. Till then, what are you supposed to do? Study well, and very important thing is correct. Enjoy studying. Bye.